In this video, we're going to look at how to set up a WordPress plugin to back up your WordPress site. The plugin I recommend is, is Back WP Up. This plugin will back up not only your WordPress database, but also all the files on your website. I've already installed the plugin that you'll notice here in my dashboard. To set up the actual process of doing a backup, Underneath the Back WPF option in my dashboard, I'm going to select Add New Job. I'm going to give this job a name. Backup DBase and Files. And usually I go with the default settings when setting up a job to do the backup. I'm going to leave the database backup and file backup turned on, so we'll back up both of those. Instead of actually backing up the plugins, it creates a list of plugins. And if I ever need to use this backup to restore my WordPress site, I can just open up the list the file and install those plugins on my own. Since plugins are readily available, it decides not to back up the actual plugins. But if you want to do that, you could turn that off. However, I recommend just using the, the list too. I'm going to leave all the other settings the same. The other thing to note down here is where you want your backup to be stored. I'd recommend for simplicity's sake to go ahead and just back up to a folder on your web server. If you need to go somewhere else or have access to this other service, you can send them back up to any of those services as well. Since I specified to back up to a folder on the server, I added this tab here at the top. We'll get to that just in a second. We'll go ahead and work through each of these tabs. I like to schedule the backup to happen automatically. Depending how often your site changes, you might want to do this once a week, once a month. But select the option that best works for, for your site. I'm going to use the WordPress cron option to set up a schedule. And let's say for this one, I want to back up just monthly. And we'll do it on the 1st. We'll do it at 3 a.m. The next tab at the top is DB Backup. And I'm going to leave the default settings as is. It's going to back up all the tables of the database. So it grabs the entire database and then gives that file, file a name. Click on the Files tab. And here is, you can define what you want to back up as far as the files on your database. And usually I will go with the default settings as well. If I need to exclude something, you can turn that on inside each of these options. go to the plugins tab at the top it's showing me the name of the text file that will show, that will store the list of the plugin I'm going to leave that as is then finally the to folder it creates a folder by default starting with the word WB packup inside the uploads folder on the server I also tend to bring the file number of files to keep on folder I tend to bring this down to maybe a three or four Save changes. Now I want to go to my jobs list underneath back WP up in my dashboard. That will be the job that we just created will be listed there. And it'll automatically run, in this case, the first of each month. If there's any issues with the backup, an email will be sent to the email that you specified within the settings for this job, and you'll be notified if there are any issues. Otherwise, it will just continue to run once a month. That's how you set up the back WP up oh, plugin.